Norton V4 SV, 2022 on, review. Focus on road manners rather than track performance. After 35 faults were found with Norton's original V4, things had to change. New owners, a new factory and ostensibly a new bike have preceded this much-awaited second coming. This new V4 SV shares only basic design with the V4 SS RR briefly sold by previous owner Stuart Garner's failed Norton. And 428 of the bike's 900 components have been redesigned. The cooling system is new, lubrication is heavily revised, and the valve train has received a great deal of attention. Detail changes to the gearbox should ensure reliable shifting and longevity. The electronic side has been on the receiving end of more reliable firmware, as well as changes to the settings. Ride quality and brakes. The manually adjustable Olean's NIX 30 forks and shock are set relatively soft for road-going compliance as standard. The kit has plenty of scope for adjustment, so an on-the-hoof increase in front preload slash compression, plus some rear rebound, is dialed into the carbon model I'm riding. It has bare carbon bodywork with BST carbon rims to differentiate it from the silver Manx model with OZ Racing forged aluminium wheels. It now supports itself better on the brakes, holds a line and doesn't react so badly to ripples which cause enough chatter to lift the front tire clean off the floor out as you enter Gerard's in fourth. It's now behaving roughly as I'd want on a track. Engine. The 1,200 cubic centimeters motor makes a claimed 185 brake horsepower and 91 lb.ft of torque. That's 30 brake horsepower down on rivals, and what was claimed for the SS2. Norton say that's partly because they've focused on its road manners, where they believe most will be ridden, likely fairly sedately too. It doesn't feel like a friendly road bike from the tiny diamond-stitched leather seat. The tank is narrow enough to require my thighs to clench to grip it. The clip-ons are low but only a short reach away. The riding position screams track bike. Reliability and build quality. Build quality appears good, it's beautifully engineered, though the Spondon-inspired frame's welds are not stack of pennies perfect as the famed British chassis manufacturer would have done it. Reliability is a massive question, the V4's previous issues are extensive. It would be an incredible achievement if they have been fully fixed, but they've certainly made the right steps. Value versus Rivals The importance of making a reliable and serviceable bike that will still appeal to the purists is probably more important than pushing boundaries at this stage. The V4 SV will work well as a road bike and the Manx can cut it on track. But at 44,000 pounds the V4 SV will be compared to the apex predators of the superbike world. Machines like the BMW M1000R, 30,935 pounds, Ducati Panigale V4 SV2, 34,295 pounds, and Aprilia RSV4 Factory, 23,000 pounds, and it isn't as good as any of them. At least in pure performance terms. Equipment. Norton say they want to be on the bleeding edge of technology. Gimmicky rearview camera aside, the V4 SV is far from it, for now. It is, however, a solid foundation to work towards being competitive, as long as the bike meets their aim for reliability.